All right, guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm at work today. I thought I'd show you like a full day of eating of what I kind of eat in the week. Because like Monday to Friday, I kind of eat slightly different than I do on like Saturday and Sunday when I normally film the full day of eating. The first proper thing I'm going to eat today is trying out this uh, protein porridge for muscle food. It's a new product by them, so hopefully it tastes good. I love this. I more or less cleaned the whole packet as you can see. Tasted really good when I added my maple drops in it. It's like a really, like, those my protein maple drops are the one. So if you haven't tried them or any of the maple drops, that or the peanut butter, they taste really, really good in anything. They're overpowering. So like anything that tastes really bland, get bite on sweet and so you get less calories and try adding those maple drops. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Right now we have pulled up at Tesco and we are going to go look for some snacks. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I've got. The strawberries I normally get at work anyway. Eat them throughout the day, they're nice and fill me up. Uh, got the peanuts and a monster because I'm actually dying at work right now. I'm so tired. But with the peanuts, you have to be like super careful of the amount you get of peanuts because they're super, super, super high calorie and you just don't expect it. Like two handfuls of peanuts could be like three, four hundred calories. And this is probably one of the few times you guys actually see me in like work attire. I look kind of like a waiter though. Normally I never wear white with the, the waistcoat if I wear, if I wear a waistcoat. Anyways, I'm gonna go take my nuts back to my desk. Freedom. All right, people, we are now home. Uh, so more just gonna get changed, get ready to eat a meal. Uh, the one thing I did find out is that my boss on the way out randomly said that he knows about my YouTube and Snapchat and Instagram and all this shit. And I was like, fuck. It's not that I'm embarrassed about the channel or anything like that, but I just work in like a very corporate office and I don't really want them to see my fitness stuff and I'm topless. Plus I speak about very personal stuff on these vlogs. So I'd prefer if they didn't know about it, but it is what it is. I just gotta make sure in the vlogs now I don't diss anybody at work that they can just go find the video. All right, we're gonna kind of have like a weird meal now and the reason that is is because I need more protein in this next meal and the protein bagels which I was gonna have they went off I didn't realize so I need to like make something else and make something to do and it's gonna be from muscle food as you can see the box is there it's gonna be the egg whites from muscle food plus one whole egg then we also have the hake fillets. Normally I have tilapia, but most food was sold out on that. If not the tilapia, I get the cod for my fish. But a subscriber called Thicky Minaj said that she really likes the hake and it's like her new favorite. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take the subscriber love out here and more or less follow her instructions. So hopefully I enjoy it. If not, you made an enemy today, Thicky. <laughs> okay, you folks that. Okay, they're a lot bigger than I thought. We ended up at 209. So we're gonna put it on the heat. So I'm gonna have that and probably some eggs. And obviously you guys know I gotta season it and make it taste good. But with that mixed herbs. Ah, there you go. Ah, let's go with jerk seasoning. I was saying this the other day on my Insta story. I was saying that too many people out there and I watch them on YouTube and they're doing their full day of eatings and all they do is put on their meat like some salt and pepper and they say it's delicious. I'm like, y'all ain't seasoning your food right, man. It's gotta taste bland as fuck. Like, how are you gonna just sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt and expect your food to taste banging. Like they go, oh, tastes so good. How? How? That's the most basic of like seasonings on the planet. Like I was raised by a black woman, so I know I can see them in food, you see? All right, it's looking and smelling pretty good, so that's a good sign. My thoughts of eating this though is gonna be eat the eggs, then eat the fish. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like a mix of food I normally do, like fish and eggs. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Like if anyone else out there like eats fish and eggs on a regular basis, feel free to call me a pussy punk bitch. And I'm not sure if I said this yet, but all the stuff comes from the muscle food. The full unboxing of this is gonna be next video, purely because I've had to like make this video last minute and put it ahead of schedule because um, there's, I wanna do another giveaway and Basically, I'm waiting for people to get back to me to confirm that giveaway, and I mentioned it in that video, so I'm just holding on to it. So you guys get a full day of eating a little bit quicker due to that. And here is my weird meal, which is the hake and the egg whites. Before I leave you guys, I'm gonna at least give you a quick review of the hake, see if I like it more. I would say the hake is definitely better than the cod, in my opinion. 
The tilapia, uh, I'm not sure. And also on the eggs, I also put on a little bit of chili sauce, like hot chili sauce. Give me a little bit of spice. And I thought I'd just show you guys as well. These are all like, this is how I bag up and more or less freeze all the bulk foods I buy from most food. And separate them into bags, try and, put, try and put the same amount in each single bag. So I know every time I defrost a bag, I know, okay, there's 500 grams, such and such and such. Uh, so yeah, this is more or less how you bag them up. So yeah, I pack them in tightly and leave them for when I need to defrost them. That meal actually did taste fine, like it didn't taste weird at all, so kudos on the hake. Also throughout the day I try and drink as much water as I can. Sometimes I use BCAAs to flavour it or I just had like a little bit of like cordial. Also for those of you that like my t-shirt and wouldn't mind wanting to cop one, feel free to hit me up on any of my social networks and they're going for like £13 at the moment. So feel free to eat up a bargain. Alright now I'm going to go into one of these bars, I'm getting slightly peckish while I'm editing the video. Each of these bars are like I think 15 grams of protein and I have these more as like a snack when I'm like really really hungry and I feel for like something sweet. Uh, for the most part I normally stay away from protein bars and I don't even have protein shakes as much anymore purely because I like, because when you're kind of cutting it's good to actually eat, a lot, eat most of the foods, like eat real meals like when you're having shakes and bars. They are kind of higher calorie than your average kind of meal you'd cook yourself. Oh in case you want to see what it's inside, basically it's like Rice Krispies and then it has like a coating of like vanilla. So yeah that's kind of the gist of it. it tastes really nice though. For those of you that don't know, this is my favourite pre-workout to ever have. It's the fruit punch flavour. I don't know if any of you have tried the green apple one. Let me know what you think it tastes like. I haven't tried it. But anyway, I'm going to have about three quarters of a scoop of this because it is pretty late right now. Also, if you're enjoying this full day of eating, please hit the thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll make sure to try and do more, like say maybe one a week maybe. If this video gets a good amount of likes, say almost 200 likes or 200 plus, I will start doing at least one full day of eating a week. And see how it goes. But before I go, I'll also be eating an apple because I feel kind of peckish again. So I'm going to eat this apple, drink the pre-workout on the way. Right, we're at the gym now. And for those of you who don't know, I do like a five-day split now. The first three days are more or less still push-pull legs. Like the second two days would be something like uh, one that's legs again because I want to repeat legs. Then the final day itself would more or less be like a mop-up of everything apart from legs. definitely an official lifting junkie today that pre-workout was so good for me like I even right now I still don't feel tired I could go back in that gym probably go for round two <sighs> but I gotta finish this video I gotta finish eating <coughs> all right what I'm gonna cook next some chicken fillets because I'm gonna see how much the bag weighs it should be like a key all right people so what I'm gonna do now I took three of the fillets out so I'm gonna more or less slice this up and more or less put this in the pan and get ready to start cooking and I'm also on Instagram live as usual so follow me on chilling with TJ <laughs> Ooh. Asparagus! <laughs> Alright people, now we're going to cut the asparagus. You chop off an inch off the edge, purely because the bottom is basically like wood. And you'll see the end of it is like green. People, now we're going to try out this VT rice that I found in Lidl. And I'm not going to lie, the only reason I bought it is because I know, I saw Christian Guzman, like ages, about like a couple of years back, used to have this all the time. So I thought I'd just try it out. Alright, the asparagus is cooked people. Right, we have got 250 grams right there. All right, the rice is now ready. It's kind of hot. I'm going to add half of this pack on there. And voila, here you go. There's two things I'm about to do. This, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the rice. Just because I feel like I give it a bit of flavor. 
and then a little bit of a little bit of chili sauce I'm gonna put on the asparagus and a little bit of the chicken. And there you go, you can see it in the light now, and that kind of concludes the meal. So we've got all the goodness there, we've got chickens, we've got fiber, and we've got carbs. And the final thing I'm gonna eat is more or less two of these corn things. I talk about all the time. They taste like plain popcorn. I'm gonna have two of these and I'll talk to you guys about the macros in a second, but I just wanna finish eating the delicious meal which I prepared. Did you not, this meal tastes delicious. And people always ask me like, how do you stop yourself from cheating on meals and stuff like that? And the best way, and I always say it is, learn how to cook your own damn meals. Once you know how to make good macro friendly foods, you don't really feel the need to cheat because the foods you're making taste good. You know what I mean? The only times you ever feel like cheating is if you can't be asked to make the foods that you normally make. But for the most part, I, I love, I like cooking. I like experimenting with my foods a bit, like the things that I cook. And they always taste good most of the time, so. That's the secret to like making so much spelling gains. Cook your own food, follow a good structured routine, and you know, being a calorie deficit, it's really, that's what it comes down to. I thought I'd attempt to be an adult for once to eat at the table, but one thing I gotta say is, I'm not normally a rice person, but this VT rice tastes so good. I'm hoping it's still at little, but I have a feeling that it was only there for a short time, but it tastes really, it's really soft, and yeah, I really, I really enjoy this rice, especially with the sweet chili sauce on top of it. So if you find it anywhere near your store, I'd try it out. It tastes really, really good. And what I remember, the macros weren't too bad. All right, we're in today then on 2,010 calories. So I think I'm over my limit by like 13 calories, but I'm not too fussed about it. I hit my, my carbs more or less up, heat on. It's my proteins where I went under and my fats went a little bit over. When you're that close to your macros, really, it doesn't really make that massive of a huge difference. But obviously, if you like that every single day, then obviously the it does add up. So most days, I try and get as close as possible, like within at least 10 grams of each way. Okay, before I disappear, I always try and end all my full day videos with like at least one tip that someone could take away from it. And the main thing I want to talk about is something that someone said on Instagram Live a couple days ago. They were more or less saying that they were cutting, but they was ridiculously hungry, like starving. And he got down to the bottom of it, and I found out that the reason he was starving was because, say his normal maintenance calories was at 2,600. He said he was cutting at 2,000, but he was starving beyond belief. And I was like, well, what foods are you eating? And at the end of the day, it got down to the fact that the reason he was starving because he wasn't eating enough volume. He was trying to eat the same food he was eating before, but just less portion size. So basically, you still eating like more high calorie foods than you ate before, before you started cutting. But like just cutting out the portion size to like half to have less calories in total for a day. And I was like, you can't just do that because then you will be hungry. What you've got to do is switch out some of the foods, make replacements to eat more lower calorie foods like veg and fruits because those fill you up a lot more throughout the day. So that way you feel more full throughout the whole of the day rather than feeling like you're hungry. So if you watch today's video, I ate a whole bunch of fruits, I ate veg, I ate lean cuts of meat and that allowed me to eat a lot more volume of food. Like I feel full right now, like stuffed. So that is what I would say the tip. Be sure that if you're cutting, you feel hungry, make sure you assess the food you're eating. Are you actually eating a good amount of volume? Don't try and eat the food you eat before you started cutting, but just cutting out a portion size, because chances are that they're too high calorie, and they're not, they probably won't fulfill your hunger too much. So that is what I say is a really, really good tip. Make sure that the food you're eating actually fill your appetite, and they're not crazy high in calories. But anyway, I'm about to dip out right now. I'm currently wa watching Rick and Morty. I've only just started to try and watch it because some people at work told me to watch it. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not a massive fan yet. I'm more of a Bob's Burger type of person, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you want to see more full day videos, be sure to let me know in the comments and hit this video with a thumbs up. If it hits at least 200 likes, I'll be sure to make at least one full day video in a week, hopefully. Anyways, peace out, people. Stay getting gains and continue being a lifting junkie. <laughs> peace out. Alright guys, if you haven't seen this kind of set in this thumbnail, that means you haven't seen the previous video, the really good full day of eating, where I hit my macro spot on, go check it out.